Good morning. There we are. I always get the camera wrong there, don't we? How are we this morning? We good? Rise and shine. It's half past nine. We've got exciting science experiments today. We are looking at water and all things water related. So one of the things we've done at homeschooling is little science experiments about does it float or does it sink? So what we do is, with our little piece of paper here, we write down um, a list of items that we find around the house and we write down our prediction. Is it going to float or is it going to sink? Uh, oh, that pen doesn't work. Other oh, So you write it down and we write prediction, float or sink. So the first one I'm going to try, and I've got my little bowl of water here, which I'm going to hold. Do we think this lolly stick will float or sink in the water? What do you think? What's our prediction? Uh, you think good? Float. Okay. <clears throat> Consensus here is float. Let's see. Put it in gently. <laughs> yeah, you can see, can you? That is floating on the surface. So prediction is right. What about ooh, this rubber? What do you think? Float or sink? Sink. Sink? What do you think, Ethan? Float. float. Okay, we've got one one float, one sink. Let's see. Oh, it sank straight away, that one. That is quite a heavy rubber. Okay, I've now got this dice. Or die, you would call it, wouldn't we? What do we think? Float or sink? Sink, sink, sink. Sink? What do you think? Hmm. Float. Oh, that one sank as well. Heavy. Okay, next one. I've got this shell. It's a little sort of um, it's snail sort of mini shell. I think we found these on the beach, didn't we? What do you think? Float or sink? I'll put it that way up. So it doesn't feel if good, it so. sinks, it's going to sink quite slowly. And if it floats, it's going to float quite slowly. <laughs> so we're hedging our bets there, really. What do you think? I think this might float. I haven't tried sink. it. Sink. Oh, it floats there on the top. But I wonder if I put it up the other way. Whether it would start to fill with water. No, it's okay. That happens with Duplo. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's starting to sink a little bit if we get water in it. There we go, right. Interesting. And then what's the last one? A paper clip. Mmm, these are little pink. Oh, I did this. Clips. Before it oh, okay, all right. It's what do you think? metal ones, though. Well, this is metal, but it's covered in pink plastic. Uh, so, I'm not... mm, I don't know, float or sink? Let's see. Wait, no, I'm going to predict float. Oh, it's sank. Yeah. Sank right to the bottom. Well, you can have fun with that today, can't you? Do some experience predictions and think about, is it going to float or is it going to sink? And we think about how important water is to us in our daily lives. And Jesus was once passing by at a well. And he was actually in Samaria. We hear a lot about that with the Samaritans. So people they wouldn't normally like to mix with. Um, and it was midday. And he sat down and it was hot. And you know what, you wouldn't normally expect to find <coughs> anyone at the well at midday, for the very reason was it would be hot. The women would normally go and collect the water in the morning, and actually it was a bit of a nice fun time for them. Maybe they'd get around, have a chit-chat, it was a bit of a social time for the women. So when he was there at midday and found a woman there on his own, this is, he suspected something was not all right with this woman. So he asked her for a drink. And she said, but why are you asking me, a Samaritan woman, for a drink? Because it just wouldn't have been the done thing. He wouldn't normally have mixed with Samaritans, Jewish people, um, and, um, and spoken to a woman as well on her own, who, being out at midday, maybe had, was a bit ashamed. But still, Jesus asked that. Uh, and then she said, well, why do you want it for me? And he said, well, if you knew who it was who would, who would ask, you would be asking me for living waters. Well, she was a bit confused, so she thought, well, our ancestors dug this well. Um, what do you mean? What is this living waters? And then he, well, didn't really answer the question, uh, but he said, whoever drinks this water, my normal drink, it's got squash in it, you have a drink. It's nice for a while, isn't it? But you're always going to be thirsty again, aren't you? And that's what he said. Whoever drinks from this well will always be thirsty again. But... He says, whoever drinks um, 
The water that I give will never be thirsty again. The water that I will give will become in him a spring, which will provide him with life-giving water and give him eternal life. Wow. Well, there's an offer, isn't it? She thought, gosh, what is this? Um, so she said, give me this water so I'll never be thirsty again. And then he said something quite personal to her. Um, he mentioned something in her life which she was probably a bit ashamed about. Um, but it proved to her that she knew that Jesus must have been special because he knew this about her. Um, and actually, she didn't deny it. She said, yeah, that is right. You must be some sort of sort of prophet. Um, but he said, look, whoever kind of comes here and just, you know, worships their gods, um, like you Samaritans, you come and you worship, but you don't know who it is you were worshipping. So she is blown away, basically, by this encounter with Jesus. She goes back and she tells all her villages, come and see this man who's told me everything I've ever done. Um, and she's filled with this joy of meeting Jesus. And then what is this life-giving water? Well, it is the eternal life of our spirits that we get when we're in a relationship with God. And he describes it like a fountain, it's kind of springing out from your body. So not just little sips of water, something really powerful bursting out. And I thought, well, how can we demonstrate that this morning? So... Let's try. I've never tried it before. A bottle of Diet Coke. A pot of Mentos. And a little tube to feed them in. And this is perhaps going to demonstrate just exactly the sort of thing that Jesus is talking about. Not just little sips of water. But an an encounter uh, and a relationship with Jesus gives you this inner... Let's see. (laughs) Right. This could be messy. Holly is going to take the camera. I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to take this outside. Right. Ready? I'm going to load the tube with my Mentos. <laughs> Quite exciting because I've never done this. I have no idea how this is going to be. Okay, I'm going to place the tube. Actually, I'm gonna. I think what I'm gonna do is feed it in this way. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Yay! Cool. <laughs> okay, so that is what Jesus is talking about. A, a spring inside our bodies bursting out which is just that relationship with Jesus which will never run out we never need to keep going back for it and we'll always be there and now we're going to go and enjoy our coke have fun with that have fun doing your does it float does it sink experiments and I will see you (laughs) where are we I will see you tomorrow so have fun everybody